Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be discussing related to move instruction. Okay. So basically, this move instruction is used in order to move the value from one address to an, uh, another address, right? So let us see how to use this move inter move instruction. We'll be using a counter here, and we'll be trying to change the value of preset value of the counter using move instruction. Okay, so here we'll be giving the preset value of the counter in an address. Okay, so we'll be taking one address for preset value as well, and then we'll be trying to change it by using move instruction. Right. So let us observe how to use this. So here, what we'll do is I'll make some tags first. Okay, I am giving it as a input pulse tag, input underscore pulse. Okay. And then we'll be having a reset. And here I am giving a move instruction input. Okay, so that will be the input number two. And then we'll be giving a value. Suppose we need to uh, give the address of a preset here, right? So let us take it as preset input preset underscore value. Okay, so it will be in double or double word or word we can take it as a double word or word so i am taking it as double word okay and here will be placing md0 right md0 okay and the result of that uh, double word, uh, result of the counter so suppose current value is here current value of the counter okay and we'll be observing how the counter behaves right so basically we'll be seeing it here okay so i'll be taking one no and then we'll be requiring a counter so i'm taking this one and converting it to counter using ctu okay and right now what we'll do is i'll take one output right so we'll be observing the output as well okay so basically this will be the output here i'll be giving the output as i'm giving this output here okay and in the next network what we'll do is i'll take a move instruction using an no okay this is our no and i'll be giving an move instruction right so let us observe what is going to happen so first of all what i will do is i will take the move instruction here okay we can take this move instruction right now what we'll do is we can increase uh, the inputs as well okay here uh, there is a facility to increase the inputs okay so here if you are able to observe what we'll do is i will just trigger this one and we'll be changing some value okay so let us take it as input pulse right so this will be the input pulse for the counter and then here we'll be giving it as reset right so what will be the val it will be the reset okay and we don't require this one here and uh, this will be the preset value so i am giving it as preset okay right so what is the tag actually what is the tag where is yes this one this is md0 preset value is the tag right so i'll be taking it as preset value okay so it is not taking let us copy the same or we can simply write the address right so md zero right so actually it is a integer we can change it to double integer so that the counters value will be valid right now <coughs> this value 
okay so current value will be here so we'll be giving it as current value we don't require this current value right and here will be the having the output okay so we know that how this counter behaves okay so after some uh, counts uh, whatever the value in preset it will be turning on okay so the output will be turning on so this is our output okay actually what we need to know is how this move instruction is working so what we'll do is i'll give an input number two okay so in order to activate this input okay in order to in activate this move instruction we have this address right so i'll give this address here okay move right now what we'll do is i'll be giving some value here suppose we are giving a value as suppose we are giving the value as 5 right okay and this value will be going to this preset value when this is activated okay so this will be our preset value okay so what we will do is by activating this move instruction the value 5 will be moved to this address okay preset values address and therefore the preset value of this counter will change and accordingly the behavior of counter will change and the output will be behaving in the same manner okay so let me download this one okay after downloading let us load it after loading let me go into the online mode okay after going to the online mode we will be monitoring the logic okay so initially it is having this one value okay and here the preset value is 2 right so let us change this value first okay so i will be giving it as i will be giving some decimal value here so let it be mm -hmm. let it be suppose we have given what what value is given to this one this this is 5 right so we can give some uh, yeah we can give it as 3 or something else okay so basically it is in hexadecimal let me change it to decimal and then provide the value okay so now uh, again there is a problem I think I need to change the value to decimal here right so in this way now the first pulse is here right so that's why the output is not high until and unless the value is 3 okay so while giving the pulses we can change the um, let us observe what is going to happen okay so initially uh, let me delete all this text and take it once again okay so all the texts are present now let me delete the unwanted text okay so here if you are able to observe this is our pre input number input value right so i am giving some let me reset the counter okay so initially it is having a zero value now let us observe what is going to happen actually this is increasing right so i will be giving some address here okay i'm giving some pulses here the first pulse will change the value to one in this way we are giving the second pulse and on third pulse the output will be in the high state okay so this is what we are observing right now what we'll do is i'll be resetting it once okay resetting it and now we know that the preset value is 3 that's why after giving the third pulse the output is in the high state now if you want the output to be high after five, fifth pulse so what we'll do is will activate this input okay so when you activate this input the value 5 will move into this address and this address has been given to this preset value as well that's why the value of preset will also be changing okay so the current value of preset is 3 right 
so when you are activating this endpoint this value will move to this instruction and this address and then correspondingly this value will also change okay so let us observe what is going to happen so i'll be giving this as move i'll be activating this move instruction here so if you are able to observe we have activated this move instruction and the five value has moved to preset values memory double word and this memory double word is given address here also that's why the value is changing here as well okay so now what will happen is when you are giving the pulses so what will happen when you are giving the pulses it will be turning on the output will be turning on after 5 seconds so let us observe what is going to happen so i am giving the pulses this is our first pulse then second pulse in this way the current value of the counter is changing and on the fifth pulse only the output will be in the high state so previously it was happening at the third pulse but when we activated this move instruction the value has changed here the preset value has changed and accordingly the behavior of the output has also changed okay so in this way we are using this move instruction okay so in the next lecture we'll be seeing about various convert instructions right so how to convert a value into round form and then a seal function and floor function trunk all those will be seeing and then we'll be seeing about scaling as well okay so thank you